With this exploration, we're going to proceed in a different way than with the rest. I advise you to see this palace in detail from beginning to end. In this report, on the contrary to what I do with most of the videos, today I'm not going to make an intro. I'm not going to reveal the best days. This time I want that, like me, you discover everything with me, including the terrible moment when a man with a gun surprised me, being completely alone on the ground floor while I was filming. This is crazy, as you can see, well as I guess you have seen in the intro. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in terms of abandoned palace. Perhaps I even came to resemble one that I saw in Italy. It seems amazing to me how a palace like this can remain with such beautiful paintings, with everything so intact, that this is something that is... Impressive, it's better than a museum. It's, trust me, you will see. If you have already seen something in the intro that I guess I had put a little thing to leave the best for the end, um, this palace is amazing. I'm going to take the camera now and let's start with one of the most luxurious areas of the palace, the lower part. Okay, I'll take it like this. I don't know how I may have looked because the sun is shining on my face. So, well, uh, let's start with the part where the people, the family of this castle, of this palace, receive their guests. Well, with this majesty that you're seeing behind me, I'm going to turn around and put the camera in first person. For now, I only know that I'm inside a luxurious palace, which has abandoned inside pieces of incalculable value. What should happen for a place like this to be allowed to die? Let's keep finding out. You're not going to see even a tiny part of how it feels to be here in this room. Because it's super, super tall. If you look at details, there are swans with the plants. They reach all the way up and follow the paintings around here. If we zoom in, we see like little houses. I won't take the entire video looking at the painting details, but for you to see that these are details everywhere, wherever you look. There is the lamp. We are right in the hall. So, the area where visitors were received, and we could wait here with a tea, and, well, choose which area to go. Let's see. I'll talk as well. The area on the left, which is the music area, where they had their piano. The area on the right, which is the dining area. If they were waiting to be invited to a dinner, they could then come here for dinner. In fact, I think the first thing they did was to be here in the lobby. Please come to the music area to have an aperitif while we prepare. Well, while the cooks are preparing dinner and they were there in a relaxed way. So let's get started. We're going to take a tour that any guest would do when entering this incredible palace. Also striking is this portrait, which is the first one they saw. So we understand that he was the owner of this palace. Let's try to not get the reflection. It's difficult because there are a lot of windows. Here we have it. And if I move away and get right to look from behind, these were the views that the windows had with spectacular colored glasses. And while going to the music room, here there are plastic flowers and also dry plants. Dry plants. Well, here is the music room. Darker because the shutters are down but no less beautiful. It's beautiful. Look at these mirrors. How huge. I don't know how to do it to try not to get dizzy with the movements. I'll try to do them slowly, but I also don't want to be annoying and not make the video too long. Look what a doll they had here. It's made of ceramic. 
this super old piano. Lips your piano. Wow. And it also sounds super well. As if the years hadn't passed. That's so hard. It's spectacular. Oh, I'm stumbling. It's spectacular. Oh, what we have here is a closet. Well, I'm going to make a general plan of what I see standing here from this corner. We have another portrait there. I think it's the same, or it may be the father of the man we have seen before. The huge lamp that presides over the music room. Apparently I was alone, but I invite you to pay more attention, because from now on there are several moments where you hear how there is someone else in the adjoining room. And here, what I wanted to show, photographs of the children, that we can see that they had six, they are shown according to... Yes, because they are different children, so they had six children. Let's see, they were nobles, they had money, they lived in a huge palace, they had plenty of room to have them super well cared. Happy. Running around these halls, I imagine. All were little kids here. Six children. This is a very common number. Six years ago, having six children, I think it was actually normal. In other words, it was neither too much nor too little. Six children was more or less the average. I don't know if here, look, they are as white and from behind. I don't know if the years will come. I'm going to put on my gloves right now, wait a minute. Now I really need already protected. I'm going to proceed and see if I can find any dates on the photograph. That I see that, <laughs> what a cute little thing this girl is. Look at the color that's a little lower teeth picking out. I don't know if it focuses. Look. Time, eh? How it passes. How fast it passes for some. And I also tell you how slow for others because a lot of people who, while well, in abandonments that we have seen, there is people who want their life to pass quickly. I'm going to put a series of video here if you want to see what I mean. But for others, life goes by super, super fast. I don't know. Look, what a beautiful picture from here. What a view to the rest of the palace from the ground floor. Let's sweep it well, if you like. Okay. Holy God, too bad I don't have here the wide angle. Jesus says it, who is above now making shots. So then I'll take it myself to make shots here. Well, actually, Jesus was on the top floor. On this floor, I was completely alone. To see the immensity of this castle. Look at the ceilings here, how beautiful. This is beautiful. I hope I don't repeat myself too much with these words, but you know how much I enjoy in these places. And if a humble and rural house seems nice to me, imagine a palace as decadent and intact as this one. It is a wonder frozen in time. You see that it turns wherever I turn. It's all lovely and pretty. Right now I'm looking at picture here. Let's see if I can show the curtains. It's just that it burns. Here. The curtains. Oh, they are moving. They are already all torn and broken by the passage of time. And the wind passing through them. in their days a liquid that in fact let's see I don't want to force it either I'll show you what oh my god how it is I don't know what that could be but look at how it is right here by my side I just noticed that I have a headless priest there that is there Someone explain to me why these things happen. His eyes are closed. Oh no, they're open. It's just that it's tiny. And here is Christ's child. I don't know, it's just that we find headless speakers in many abandonments, right? I'll close this. Oh, 
there it is as it was the little angel look at the faces peeking out of the cupboards it looks like a cartoon doesn't it but the relief is impressive super big the fangs look at this this opens yes yes wow everything is full everything coco look a box of coco Dutch Coco. Imagine if this is old. There is no date here, I believe. No. So, this is where they used to sell Coco. There was no plastic at this time when they bought these. Just look. Wow. Awesome. Alpaca. I haven't shown the other door, but look. How oh, nice. No matter how many places I visit, it will never cease to amaze me how everything material ends up being forgotten. It doesn't matter what class you belong to. Being rich or being poor, everything has the same final destination. Time always put everything in its place, and nature takes care of the rest. Look over here. Candies that are like, look, soft, toffinata. A wallet, a blur if there is something. There are some papers. Let's see if we have a name. A charity center? I don't understand. A charity center is an institution that provides support to people with some physical or cognitive disability of limited resources. And this agrees with something I find in the kitchen later on. Let's keep exploring. I found a letter. Prodigal son. Oh, the parable of the prodigal son represents the love and condescension that God has for men a little metal box. Dutch cocoa. They like to collect the old cocoa boxes. Well, what happens is that I want to show you everything so well so as not to leave you details because it's that when I entered here I've gone crazy to see everything calmly and yet I still have the last floor left. I haven't entered because I leave something to the surprise to see it in video. We have not seen the lady of the palace. Look at that picture. Portrait, because it's painted. It's a painted portrait of a lady. These portraits were very common in the midst of 1800. But when being drawn, it can be a portrait drawn much earlier. Look at the tables. Here the ceiling has fallen down. I have my sunglasses on, so they fall every time I look up. Look at the ceiling. You see how everything is falling? And you can see on the floor that is now white. It's wood, and you can even see the wood for all the fallen ceiling. It's a shame, like, to know that this place will be, well, for example, like Napoleon's castle, that year after year it has been falling down more and more. And a palace as beautiful as this, to think that it can end in complete ruin. It just hurts. It really hurts because of how precious it is and because of the affection in which it was built in its day and everything was decorated. I think that the eternal problem that has such a big place when it has many children and there were many heirs that they end up giving up for such a big place because how oh, scary. I got scared by the jacket I've left there. Oh, oh my God. Let's see. Honestly, I'm lost right now because there's a pretty big hallway. We have this carpet here. It's made of fabric. It's hands-on for sure. And we have several doors to look at around here. Well, look. I just don't know. It's so nice. Look what a corner here. 
with this kind of beautiful mirror coat rack. Some feathers on here. They already bent candle. There are so many details. And here, a rather modern area. With a TV. I don't understand this room very much, honestly. But it gives me the feeling that being on the ground floor, it could have been of the person, the last one who stayed here being old, so as not to climb stairs as happens in many abandonments. There is also jacket, see? Clothes more similar to what the elderly wear. So it could be the room that the Lord used when he was already old. And he couldn't climb stairs. Is this the same lady? I think she looks like the one in the portrait, doesn't she? And the walls, have you seen how they are? It's a full-fledged castle. This place is like taken from a movie. It's awesome. Okay, so that you can see the dimensions, I have another door with more rooms to my left. These stairs that are not the main ones. And then, if I turn around here, we have seen more stairs and more rooms. What do you think if we go in order and enter through here that I think this leads to the kitchen from what I've seen on the back? It was like the way, surely, well, not surely, I'll confirm what's going on here. Look, the stairs are hidden, like here in the hallway. This is closed, and here then nothing happens. This is like a closed room, period, you don't have to go inside. There are stairs that connect to the kitchen, and right here are the main ones that face the hall, for the visitors, and well, also for the owners. Then the owners, the family would come this way, they went up to their rooms, and there was no need to run into the palace service like they had their corridors and their own stairs so as not to disturb, so to speak, not to disturb, in the end they were doing their job, but so they did not hinder the owners of the palace, and I say this because many people told me this in other castles that I have recorded, and I have been searching about it, and they actually had their own stairs. Very wealthy people could build the secondary staircase for the service, and that's what happens here. Look, they had the pantry here. The iron is here. How many times will they go here, right? Even to tell each other their gossips here. Maybe secretly like, have you seen what the lady has said to her husband? I don't know. I just like to imagine scenes that could have happened maybe 50 years ago. Oh. Holy mother. This leads to the basement, here they would have the cellar, I guess, and this is the kitchen, and there is access just by the service part. Well, they have this door that leads to the outside, so I think that not even the owners or relatives had access to the kitchen. They were at their service, the servants, maids, the cooks, they would have at least two, three people here, I believe, in this palace. What can I tell you, with the passage of time, maybe during the last 20 years there was no service anymore. Because around here, as I always tell you, quite a few generations of the family will have passed. So perhaps the last man that we have seen his room already lived alone in the whole magnitude of this palace. <sighs> Living alone must not be easy. So big that this place is, I imagine cooking, I don't know. Warming up some lentils, what do I know, with this kitchen, set just for him. I would prefer if I'm living alone, something smaller and cozy, right? Because something so big, well, it feels very empty. And well, even more now, of course. Well, we've already seen the kitchen. Oh, one thing I do want to do is look, the fridge, I'm sorry, but I'm not going to open it. 
You know why, those are who have been following me for a long time. What can we see? If there is any date? Okay, well, it's going to surprise you. I just saw it. It's really going to surprise you. 2015. Let's say the abandonment is from 2014. Only seven years have passed since the place has been abandoned. Seven years, huh? It's just that it's nothing. We're with number seven on this trip through Portugal, being repeated in every abandonment that I go. It is more or less seven years that the place has been abandoned. And well, me, these seven years, I mean, just before the seven years, the person who lived here was the elderly person who was left as the owner. And then, well, his children? Oh. The bear man. Whoa, what is this? Some syrup? We started strongly. Sartonil. It is used to treat neurological and cognitive disorders associated with cerebrovascular accident and associated with head trauma. That is to say, that the last person who lived here suffered an accident that probably left him quite affected. But this is not all. Medicines? Look. Cinemate. This medicine is not far behind. It is indicated for the treatment of Parkinson's disease. They also had a dog. Well, the cinemat boxes. You know, it's one thing that's given me a lot. I won't show this bag because it may give information from the pharmacy, but I'm amazed because I just took this out of this bag and it's unopened. And there are more things. This is also used. Glisco, 2017. So this was perhaps the last purchase that the man made. Let's save it up to here again. This could be the last purchase. The last bag that I have shown. The last purchase in the pharmacy. He had this lantern to go around the castle at night. I imagine because this is huge. Let's leave it there. You see what's nonsense, the fact is that I want to leave, but since I've got so much information here, like if there is something more. Oh, a lot of coffees, teas. This jug wasn't even used. It isn't plastic, as it was purchased. It gives me a lot of grief, honestly, when I see that the last person who lived in such a big place ended up alone. And on top being old, it gives me a lot of grief because I put myself in his place. And maybe he also spent his childhood here. Imagine how hard it must be to walk through these corridors in complete solitude. Seeing that maybe your brothers and sisters have also already passed away because they are old. Or they don't want to take over this place and they're gone. They have ended up in anger. Then many families end up angry like this because of inheritance issues. I don't know. Well, let's go up, I think, to the first floor, which is where the rooms are, pretty quickly. In fact, this whole ground floor with how nice it is. But look, let's go through here, directly here. I forgot this door. I think this is just a wardrobe. <laughs> I can't believe it. There are more rooms here. What is that sound? Has anything sounded? We have noises now. There are like too many dolls here. Look. Look. What a little doll. Oh man, it has no eyes. Look. I don't even want to touch it. I don't know. I won't touch it. I even find it scary. It has no eyes. They open. Let's see if it zooms. God, they give a bad feeling. God, they give a bad feeling. I don't know. I'm even getting scared. God, I don't know how to zoom it. Oh man, what a thing.
I have the feeling that I get scared from one moment to another. Here I have a mirror on the right that I haven't told you, but it scared the hell out of me after seeing myself. <laughs> Man, I try to hide it a lot, but what a feeling for that doll. As far as you can see, it was the old office of the man. Oh, I knew that I had the zoom on. There's a, oh what a pity, a portrait of another lady. Wow, what a pity, it's super scrambled. You're going to see that on the first floor, I'm not going to waste much time like on the lower because it's pretty messed up too, even though I have the last one left. And Jesus told me that I'm going to love the third floor. Because he told me, you'll see how you're going to draw conclusions. So well, we'll see what I find. Look, 